Yes. Vamos a pasarlo a 11.5 litros, a 11.5 litros, que vamos a pasar a litros. Y luego vamos a pasar a 10 litros. Sí, 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 sí. Y ganan en cuanto a los Hello, good evening, Sylvia. How are you? 
Hi, Esmeralda. Hi, teacher. Hi, Roxana. Good evening. Okay, Silvia, I'm sorry to hear that. Siento mucho oír eso que pasa algo con su micrófono. Okay. And Esmeralda, can you hear me well? Yes, teacher. Okay, because Sylvia says that uh, she was, uh, um, uh, she was, uh, I was uh, like, a, like a cutting off. So if you hear me well, where are the uh, the, the headset? Hoy los cambié. Oh my goodness, I miss them. Me hacen falta ya. Mañana me los pongo, teacher. All right, all right. Okay. Lo que con esos audífonos me tiene metiendo a ver un poquito los oídos, por eso hoy los he suspendido. ¿Con estos o con los otros? Con los otros. Muy fuertes. Como, como también uso lentes, me presionan. Mm. Entonces por eso hoy, hoy los, los, los he evitado. Ok, yeah. Un día sí, un día no, ¿está bien? Yeah. yeah, very good. And how was work? ¿Cómo estuvo el trabajo? <laughs> Very, very good. Okay. And uh, <laughs> how often do you have vacation, paid vacations? Ooh. A final de año, teacher. Okay, once a year. Yes. Once a year. Okay. And um, when do you take them? Wait. When do you take them? I... Okay, when do you take them? Your vacations. Oh, este, como le decía, este, no dan, las vacaciones son anuales. 15, okay. 15 días. Okay, and uh, when do you take them? Do, do you take them uh, on? At the end of the year, or you wait uh, for two months and then you take your vacation. Some people like uh, if your vacations are on on December 15, people say no, no I'm not going to take them because you know on December we get a lot of uh, day off, so I don't want to miss them. So I'm going to take my vacations uh, from uh, the 31st to the 15, something like that. And mucha gente dice, por ejemplo, si te toca las vacaciones el 15 de diciembre, dice no, la voy a tomar porque Eh, hay bastantes uh, días festivos ese día y, y lo voy a perder. Entonces las tomo después del otro año, eh, como en enero. Ya yeah, esa es la pregunta que te hice. Si when do you uh -huh. take them? Cuando las las tomas. La primera fue how often do you have uh -huh. vacation at your job? Yeah. Y dice que once a year. And uh, when do you take them? Do you take them uh, in December? Las tomas en diciembre. December. Oh, okay. Right. En diciembre. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Esmeralda. Hi, Silvia. How are you? Todavía no me escuchas, okay? Hi, Silvia. How are you? Okay. Paola, Stephanie. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? All right. All right. And uh, how was work? Mm, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. Okay. Very good. And uh, and do you uh, have vacations uh, at work? Yes, I have, but. 
in my case, eh, I take, um, no sé cómo decirlo, <laughs> pero es como perdido cuando son las, digamos, la vacación de, de marzo. Mm -hmm. O sea, de las, de las, de las primeras, uh -huh. eh, como la semana completa. Okay. Y cuando son las vacaciones, como, y así me la van para. Oh, ok. So, how, how often do you, do you have vacations at work? Um, when, cuando son las festividades. Ok, how often? Once a week, twice a week, three times a week. Uh, 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 once a year, twice a year, every four Maybe months, every three months. Three times of the of the year. Okay, all right. And you say you don't take them when when they're due. So when do you take them? No las no las tomas cuando se cumple, sino cuando la tomas. Mm. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, eh, las vacaciones dices que las tomas. Uh, ¿Cuándo cuando te tocan las vacaciones a ti? Eh, hasta agosto. Agosto, August, ok. ¿En cuándo las tomas? Um, and, uh... Vacation, vacation. ¿Las tomas en agosto o en septiembre? En agosto. En agosto. Ok, muy bien. Thank you. Thank you very much. En uh, uh, Rebeca uh, Guillón, ¿cómo estás? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. Excelente. ¿Y cómo fue el trabajo? I'm seller. Your seller. How was it? Yes. ¿Cómo estuvo? Mm, difficult. Um, uh, movido. <laughs> okay. 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 And, uh, and uh, do you take vacations? ¿Toma vacaciones? Mm, yes. Okay. And uh, how often do you have vacations at your job? And um, it's a different day from the years. Different months? Son 15 días, pero, se, pero los podemos tomar como nosotros queramos en, en el año. Oh, when do you take them? Um, uh, some days in August, others. December, oh, okay. other, um, March, sample. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So various, varias. Yes. All right, very good. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you very much. Hi, lady, chicas, how are you? Hi, fine, thank you. Excellent. It's nice to see you. And tell me, how was work? Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And um, how often do you do you have vacations uh, at your job? I not listen. You don't listen. You you don't hear me. Can you hear me? How often do you have vacation? at your job? Um, se lo decir en español. Fíjese que por mi área, como solamente estamos dos, lo tomamos por día. Así no lo tomamos así como recorrido, sino que así por días cuando lo necesitamos, por X o Y razón. No lo tenemos así los días, 15 días completos, por ejemplo. Oh. Sino que por días. Okay. Ahí con nosotros. <laughs> and when do you take them? ¿Cuándo te las tomas? Usualmente cuando tengo que hacer trámites a San Salvador. 
o cuando realmente where, me quiero tomar un día de where viaje. Do you, where do you live? En Ciudad Barrio. Ciudad Miguel. Barrio. Oh, ok, ok. So whenever you want to, you know, you, whenever you want to go to San Salvador, then uh, you take them. Very good, excellent. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Michelle Oviedo, how are you today? Fine, teacher. And you? Hey, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Tell me, how was work? Fine. is interesting. Interesting. Very good. And, uh, and uh, um, let me ask you a question. Uh, do you, how often do you have vacation at your job? I don't know how do you say uh, las vacaciones como las festivas. Your, uh, your 15 days vacations. How often do you have them? Uh, no, no, no le entiendo, perdón. No okay. sé qué significa um, often. ¿Qué a menudo eh, tienes vacaciones? Mm. In Spanish, I'm sorry. Son cada... Están divididas por los periodos de vacaciones. Eh, Semana Santa, Agosto y, y, y Navidad. Christmas. Holidays. Christmas, okay. So holidays are your vacations. Yes. Oh my goodness. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. And uh, Abigail Mejia, how are you? Hi. And you? Excellent. I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. And tell me, how was your day at work? Um, very good. Very good. Excellent. Yes. And uh, do you take vacations at work? Yes. Um, um, my vacation is in Various, various, March, various, various. Uh -huh. April, uh, and August, okay. and September. So you take it. Uh, you take your vacation three times a year. Three, but yes. All right. Uh, it's twenty-one days. Twenty-one days. Oh my goodness! Yes. I want to work for your company. Yes. Quiero trabajar por tu compañía, yo, 21 días, oh, my goodness. Sí, yes. Todo, 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 vamos a trabajar por la compañía de Abigail, yeah, 21 días, oh, my goodness. Esto está bien. Ok, very good, excellent. Good job, excellent, good job. Thank you, um, Abigail. Um, por favor, eh, pre, eh, tengan encendidas las cámaras. Esa es una de las uh, sugerencias que se hizo el primer día que las cámaras tenían que estar uh, encendidas desde las 8 hasta las 10 de la tarde. Uh, maybe Marvel, Daniela Beatriz, Wendy Alvarado, Paola Stephanie, Roxana Lisette Vega y Rafael Gerardo Magaña Barahona. Hay que encender las cámaras, por favor. Ok. Um, eh, yesterday, uh, we were talking about, uh, well, we have been talking since Monday, about uh, different topics. Um, the first one was uh, about greetings, how to greet people, yes? Like uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, hello, hi, yeah? We talk about the difference uh, between hello and hi. We said that hello was a formal way of uh, greeting and hi was kind of an informal way of greeting. Uh, we also talk about daily routines. What do you do um, at your work? What do you usually do at work? Whenever, once you get to your work, uh, to the place where you work, what is the first thing to do? Some of you said that uh, you check your emails. Some of you said that uh, you take, uh, um, you have breakfast. Some of you say that uh, you talk to your friends, like the doctor was telling us that uh, she talked to her uh, colleagues uh, before to, uh, yeah, taking care of the patients. Others said that uh, they drink a cup of coffee, yeah, and, uh, and so on. 
And uh, then, then we talk about time expressions. So we said the time expressions were words that we used to indicate when the action uh, happened, yeah? Uh, and the examples of time uh, of expression, we said that daily, last week, uh, yesterday, ago, uh, always, uh, often, never, uh, those were the time expression that uh, we have been using. And then yesterday, yesterday we talked about countable and uncountable nouns. And uh, we explained what was a noun. Uh, we also said that uh, uh, we have countable, the countable nouns uh, use uh, a regular and uh, uh, use a single and plural verbs like is and are. And uh, also in our uh, countable nouns, we use the, uh, the a and an in a number. So we, we use the uh, uh, undefinite, uh, undefinite uh, article and uh, also numbers. Uh, and the examples that I gave you was uh, one table, one book, two books, you know, three books. And uh, then we said that the uncountable nouns use uh, um, a, a single verb like is, and it doesn't have a plural, yeah? The only time that you're gonna hear that uh, uncountable nouns has a, a plural is when they use the unity measures, like uh, one tablespoon uh, or one carton of milk, yes? Or one pound of sugar, yes? And um, um, between the, the uncountable, we were looking at different categories uh, of uh, uncountable. We, we were talking about uh, food uh, categories. Uh, we were talking about material categories. Also, we talk about uh, um, uh, abstract uh, things, uh, things that uh, we, don't, we can't see, yeah? And uh, so, and also we talk about liquids and gases, yes? And uh, uh, between li liquids and gases, we were talking about, among others, one, we talk about water, milk, wine, and so on. And uh, the abstract uh, ideas were like love, freedom, uh, education. Those are uncountable nouns that uh, we cannot uh, use the plural for them, okay? So that is what we have been, um, uh, talking about uh, um, that was the last thing that we talked about and today we are are going to be um, looking at uh, uh, like uh, auxiliary verbs yes and how to make a negative statement remember that the the first the date of the class we were talking about the uh um, the positive statement, uh, the simple present statement in the structure of the simple present was uh, a subject, verb, and complement. That is the structure of the uh, simple present. And today we're going to uh, take a look at, uh, uh, into the simple present structure, but we're going to add the uh, uh, auxiliary verb. The, we're going to learn when to use don't and when to use doesn't. What uh, pronouns uh, I need to use in order to be able to use the, the do or, or don't, and what uh, uh, pronouns uh, uses uh, uh, the doesn't auxiliary verb. And we're going to take a look into some examples uh, as well and some exercises uh, just to make sure that uh, everything has been uh, taught uh, clearly in a clearly manner. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, just give me a second. So, so, so that's, uh, I'm sorry for the interruption. So that is where we are heading to. Any question about uh, what uh, I have uh, uh, talked to you about? Alguna pregunta acerca de, de lo que les he dicho? Alguien que no entendió? Alguien que me diga, teacher, yo no entendí nada. 
o Teixe va a entender la mitad solamente eh, puede explicarlo otra vez o puede explicar en español no hay problema ok acuérdense que estamos este es un proceso eh, y yo estoy tratando de, de, de que nos metamos a, a ese a ese nivel pero sí de, no, no, hay unos que todavía no están ahí, no, no se preocupe, vamos a estar ahí, les prometo que todos vamos a estar en ese nivel, ok, so, uh, pero sean honestos conmigo, <ríe> dígame, teacher, ya. ok, entonces, uh, ¿alguna pregunta de lo que les dije? ¿No? Teacher. Sí, Señorita. Yo acabo, acabo de ingresar y, y no, no entendí bien lo que estaba explicando. Ok. Eh, expliqué de todas las cosas que hemos estado eh, estudiando desde el lunes, todos los tópicos que, los topics que hemos hablado, eh, eso es lo que estaba explicando de, 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 desde el lunes que, que vimos el primer topic que era acerca de los greetings y los daily routines, luego que vimos los time expressions uh, luego los countable and uncountable que fueron ayer eh, donde usamos el how much y el how many eso es lo que estaba hablando. ¿ya? Pero todo lo, lo hablamos en inglés. Así es que por eso que le preguntaba si había alguien que no había entendido eso. Y que hoy vamos a ver los negative statement uh, form. Donde vamos a usar el auxiliary uh, don't y el doesn't. Uh, lo vamos a aprender a usar. Y porque es que tiene que estar ahí. ¿Ok? A ese, ahí es donde vamos. Por favor, prendan. Ok, gracias. Excelente. Prendan las cámaras, por favor. Ya tengo Alison Marroquín, Wendy Alvarado, Paola Stephanie, Maybe Marlene, Daniela Beatriz, Rafael Gerardo Magaña, Barahona, Roxana Lisette Vega, uh, Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Elaya, Andrés María Cruz y Marisa Hernández de Sánchez. Por favor, prendan las cámaras. <ríe> ok, vamos a. Uh, are we going to start the class? And uh, let me share the screen with you. Just a second. One moment, please. Okay, one second. Okay, one second. buenas noches. Sí, buenas noches. Eh, fíjese que yo le quería preguntar si solamente puedo estar de oyente ahora, ya que no me siento nada bien de salud. Y la verdad que no, en realidad, créame lo que no, sí. no está bien, entonces solamente quería escuchar, no sé si se puede. Sí, se puede, sí, sí, tranquila, tranquila. Perfecto, le agradezco mucho, yo solo voy a estar escuchando y anotando. ¿Y cuál es su nombre, perdón? Eh, Marisa Yanira Hernández de Sánchez. Marisa, ok, are you there? Hello? Okay, pueden ver la, la página. 